Hey boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. Today with another episode of Noob to Pro, the CSGO should help you get better at Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Today we're talking about scouting and how to get better with that. Now, as you all know, Noob to Pro is a two-part series, meaning on Mondays you always get a big tutorial slash guide video like this one, sometimes including a train routine for the week. And then on Tuesdays I'll be streaming and you can ask me additional questions that you had about CSGO in general or about the latest Noob to Pro episode. But I'd say, let's get right into it. And keep in mind, I'm a little rusty with the scout. Alrighty, so now let's talk a little bit about a scout. So first of all, in the rifle department right here, it's only 1700 bucks, which is very cheap, especially compared to its bigger brother, the AWP. This low price makes it pretty much viable for er like every early round buy, every eco round, or well, almost every round in between, as long as you're able to use it properly and also know how to use it. Now, first of all, we want to talk about the speed that you're moving at. Of course, if you type in the console like this, CL underscore show pause one, you'll get in the top left corner the velocity right here. And with a knife, we're the fastest at 250. If we're using the scout right here, we're running at 230, which is also quite fast. If we compare that to an AK, for example, we're only traveling at 215. So this means when we're peeking with the AK, like right here, and trying to peek a guy in order to kill him and shoot at him, we're actually slower. Now you might say, well, sure we are, but we do not have to scope in and shoot. And, well, there's just some truth to that. If we're picking up the scout like that, you can see that when we're in scoped, it's also moving at 230 speed, which is absolutely insane. This actually makes the scout extremely viable for pre-scope peeking like that. So you don't have to wait for like all the time to, to stop and stand still and the accuracy to kick in. You can actually just fast peek and make use of the peekers to the vanish to well the fullest potential so to speak. Of course the other thing the scout is really good at is wall bangs. So as we can see right there, back of the head as CD player, and we can just shoot through the wall right here and get a one hit headshot wall bang. Of course that's also kind of the problem with the scout because as soon as we're shooting them in the body, like this, they're not dying. They actually need a headshot in order to be killed like that. So definitely make sure you're always going for headshots. That's why many people are actually saying that the scout is kind of a, well, mix in between of the AK and the R because for one, you got a scoped weapon. I mean, they're kind of similar in the way that they're behaving, you could say, but you're essentially playing it more like an AK or maybe even like a Deagle, for example. Because you always want to have that headshot height and try to go for headshots in order to kill them more efficiently and faster. Now, the scout has another cool quirk to it that not many people know about, and that's actually when you're trying to go for some sort of quick scope. You actually do not have to stutter step like that. Yes, you did hear me right. This is pretty much the only gun in the game where you not really need to stutter step or counter strafe in order to be accurate when firing. And that's pretty weird con considering it's such an accurate weapon. So what you're doing essentially is you're Again, running, then scoping in, and when you're scoping, you're immediately firing. For example, like that. Or like... Like that. And I'm trying to do it as fast as possible right here. So that was ex a little faster, so that was kind of off, but... You're moving, scope, fire. Moving, scope, fire. And I'm actually just letting go of the key like that. I'm not counter strafing like that. No AD, AD. I'm actually m still moving, as you can see. Right here, with the velocity counter which is quite interesting and only with a scout that's possible so go around fire like that fire like that so see that's extremely fast and it's actually faster than for example a normal AK peak with stutter stepping and then firing due to the well the scout just being so extremely fast while being in scoped as well as being unscoped like this so this is definitely one of the things you want to make use of and try to get well accustomed to a little bit or well just used to or at least be aware of when using the scout So now let's talk a little bit about the playstyle of the scout, since it's definitely, as I said before, a little bit different than usual weapons. I already mentioned that it's essentially a combination of an AK as well as an AWP, the way you're playing it. So usually, for example, if you're having an AWP and you're going for a slow peek right here, like that's the worst idea ever. Like, for example, crouched, just 
in general, a very, very bad idea because when you're peeking out like that, especially a close corner, the enemies on the other side right there will be able to see you long before you're able to see them. However, with the scout, you can actually go around, pre-scope, then fire, even with the double zoom scope like that. You essentially just want to be able to line up the headshot height and just fire away and get the headshots. Of course, this is not super easy. And again, the speed of the of the scout is essentially what is making you hard to hit and just being able to peek and shoot and peek and shoot like that in order to get the kills. Now, sometimes it's just not possible. The enemies are jumping or they're doing, uh, like doing something weird. Let me just hit down a couple of bots. So let's say you're actually peeking around. You see, okay, that's not the one, that's not the one, and you see this guy. And you're aiming for his head, but he's jumping, so you only hit him kind of like in the torso right there. He actually should not have died. That's weird. Okay. Um... Alrighty, that was a wrong command, so let's get back into it. So let's say you're peeking the guy right there, and he's jumping, so you're missing the headshot and you just hit him somewhere like right here in the body. And of course, that's not killing him. So what you're doing, again, you now have two options that you can do. First of all, you go for re-peek straight away and try to kill him with a second shot. You can actually do that, like the fire rate with a scout is not bad like that. And you can also immediately fire it when it's scoped again, so I'm just firing and firing again, like that. And it is very accurate, as you can see. It's more than you actually need, and again, comparing that to an, to an orb, it's actually not quite as accurate when you're firing straight after each shot before being scoped in again. With Scout, however, that's possible, so you can go for quick follow-up shots, definitely. However, something that's also very important to you make use of is, first of all, your pistol. In our case, preferably the P250, since it has the fastest drawing time, meaning when you're switching to it, it has the fewest milliseconds in order to be deployed and ready to fire. So whenever you're just going for a shot like that and you're missing the, the guy, for example, right there, you can quickly go for a follow-up shot like that and kill the enemies. So it's very, very handy. And this is something that you definitely want to incorporate into your playstyle whenever you're scouting. So whenever you, especially when you're getting rushed, getting a shot off, falling back and then just spraying him down is definitely something that will save your life many, many times since you definitely only need about like one shot, as you saw after you hit him for once with a scout. And again, the other one with the follow-up shots while being scoped, fire, and then he's he's running away to the side and you shoot at him again and you kill him. That's better for long-range scenarios. However, when close, do not be afraid to use the pistol. It's definitely your best friend in that kind of scenario. Alrighty, so now let's talk about the last point, which is definitely the thing that a scout is most known for, and this is jump scouting. So if we're scoping in like that, and we're just jumping, and then we're falling down and shooting, you can see we're not accurate anymore. This is after the recent scout nerfs, so previously you could just jump, and at the peak of your jump, all the way until you drop to the bottom of like the floor right there, you would be completely accurate. And this is not the case, you saw, I was aiming right here, the bullets do land over there. However, jump scouting is still possible, it just takes more practice now. And this is basically the thing with a scout, like in general, it does need a lot of time and practice you need to put into combining like, those, those deagle, AK and op skills all into one weapon which becomes the scout. So, as you can see when we're jumping, at the peak of our jump, kind of like right here and here, so again I'm just firing here, you can see that I'm still able to jump scout with it, even though I'm a little rusty to be honest. Again, reloading the weapon. You can still do it right at the peak of your jump. There's a small window where you can actually fire. See, I was kind of off there. Again, kind of off. So as I said before, I'm a little rusty. There, I got it again. And you basically want to check the blur of your scope. When it's blurry, you're not accurate. And at one point, right here, here, and here, you're actually able to fire it accurately. Again, kind of slightly off right there. But it's a very tight grouping and pattern, so... These two were a little off and the rest all hit in there. So it's definitely still possible, you just want to practice with it in order to get better. Now there's another thing with jump shots and jump scouting that it's like, e that's even more effective, but it also does even take more skill in order to perfectly do it and practice it and get better with it. And that's kind of jump scout counter strafing. Like it doesn't really have a name, it's just like strafe jump shot stops or something like that. So essentially what you're doing, instead of jump peeking like that and just jumping around, waiting and firing, you're essentially jumping over and cancelling out your movement by stutter stepping mid-air. You see, I'm not flying over like this, I'm just flying and stopping, flying and stopping. And if we're scoping in and doing that, you can see that we're still getting like our 
accurate skill bright at the peak of our jump. So again, if you're just aiming a little lower, you can actually just hit like normal targets. I'm just, it's easier to show it like that. So what you want to do is you want to jump, then you want to, like, you want to run, jump, counter strafe, and then you want to fire right at the peak of your jump. Now, of course, the benefit to doing so is that you're just essentially, instead of being very predictable with your normal jump like that, and the guy usually just holding the angle and flicking to you or trying to compensate for your movement, he'll flick over, but instead of you going all the way over there, you're just jumping and stopping mid-air. So he's actually overcompensating for you and then essentially missing. So it's definitely making you a harder target to hit, but again, it's taking a lot of time and effort, you see, I missed right there, in order to get this right. So the only way to properly get better with it is practice it a lot, especially like doing it in deathmatch, for example, where you got like, go up against M4s and AKs, and people will just try to rush you down with P90s. And that's usually a non-favorable range with like the scout. So if a P90 comes, you want to get a shot off, and then you want to spray down with a pistol like that again, fall just slightly back. Usually, you're, you're often re-peaking. You can definitely re-peak with a scout. Just make sure that you're not overdoing it. But whenever someone is close, you definitely want to get a shot in, fall back, and then kill him like that. Other times, you really want to make use of the scout's range, especially with a double zoom scope. You can just go around, peek like that, get a shot off and fire. And this is definitely the best thing about a scout, but yeah. It definitely takes lots of practice. It's probably the hardest weapon CS go to master, especially to a point where it's very viable at all times. So all I can say is go out and practice it a lot in deathmatch if you really want to get better with scouting. Now you know, well, the kind of the mechanics behind it and you got the knowledge on how to use it. So now go and practice. So yeah, I think it's pretty tough for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and like a skill faker out.